my dear Keats. Lord Byron, two points meet. Oh, what a treat. May I sit down? Please, take a seat. <laughs> I do admire the poems you write. I wrote another one last night. And what did you call it? The Heavenly Trumpet. What would you like? Have you got any crumpet? <laughs> How about you, sir? Uh, no crumpet for me, thank you, my dear. Between you and me, I think he's a... <laughs> I'll take some tea. With lemon? A slice. And two pieces of cake. That sounds very nice. <laughs> the brain of the poet brightens, then flickers. You give her five bob, she's sure you win it, good. <laughs> Please wait idle long enough. I'll write a poem straight off the cuff. First a swallow, then a wren. Rise and swoop, then rise again. A primrose blinks its yellow eye, but only the bumblebee knows why. You're a genius to think of that all of a sudden. I've got one here, I think it's a good one. <laughs> Two cows eating grass on a warm, sunny hillock. I thought tomorrow that grass will be millock. <laughs> yeah, millock? That won't work. Of course it will, you great big burk. <laughs> you know what? You cast a slur. I bid you good day, sir. You're a lovely young maiden, from what I can see. Please, will you write a poem for me? My poem will bring you lasting fame. I'll make a rhyme about your name. My name, sir, is Kitty. Oh, 